Today we're going to be checking out this new mouse by Rocat and it's called the Rocat Burst Pro. Now Rocat makes a lot of unique peripherals such as keyboards and mice such as this one here. However, the special thing with this mouse is that it's an ultra lightweight mouse and it's really going to make it easier for you to move your hand around easier on your desk without any strain because of how lightweight it is. And that's been a pretty trendy thing lately. A lot of these gaming peripheral companies, they're releasing mice that are ultra lightweight so we're gonna check out what the old uh, Rocat burst has to offer and yeah let's kick things off so starting off with what was in the box in the box you're gonna get the mouse of course extra mouse skates that stick onto the bottom of the mouse and this is gonna be for when the mouse starts to wear out you got some backup ones that attach to the bottom and a quick start guide which is not really necessary this mouse is fairly straightforward in terms of functionality so the first thing to note about the mouse is that it comes in two different color options you're going to be able to get it in the black version like i have here as well as a white version so if your desk setup has a lighter theme or a darker theme going one of these brocat mice should blend right in and fit perfectly with your setup so getting into the design and build quality of this mouse you can see that the design is pretty aggressive it has like these aggressive cutouts which have like a defined button click the scroll wheel all of it looks like it has sharp angles and it's not really that soft fluffy look it's more of that aggressive look which i'm personally a fan of and rocat is pretty well known for creating peripherals that do look aggressive now getting into the actual build quality of the mouse this thing is made entirely up of plastic and this isn't like cheap plastic it feels pretty well built overall my only complaint with the build quality of this mouse is that it is made fully of plastic without any rubber grips that are gonna help ha give you a better gripping experience. The only grips they have are the like these plastic texturized uh, hexagon shapes on the side, but that doesn't really pro provide enough grip for me personally. The only thing that's made of rubber with this mouse is the scroll wheel, and the scroll wheel is gonna have a really grippy rubber material, as well as textures that make it really easy to scroll with the scroll wheel. And then the way the scroll wheel uh, scrolls, it has like this kind of rough scrolling experience where you scroll and it's like like a big click kind of it's not like smooth it's more like chick 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 like kind of you know it goes in incre pretty big increments and here's a little click slash scroll test for y'all to hear what this mouse actually sounds like so i'm going to get it up to the mic here and here's a click test and here's the side buttons and here's the scroll wheel So that's pretty much what it sounds like. I don't really have any complaints with the clickers. And speaking of the clickers, actually, these do have the optical switches. It says on the box that they have the Titan switch opticals, which is basically kind of similar to a mechanical keyboard feel, but built onto a mouse. So it's not gonna be like uh, two plastics kind of just like uh, pressing against each other like regular mice out there. This one actually, has a spring system inside of the mouse clickers. And I found that the clicking experience was cut, was quite pleasant and very different from a lot of the other mice I used out there. And it's definitely a cool experience that I haven't really had with any other mice out there. Getting into the gripping styles of this mouse, you're able to use the mouse in pretty much all of the three main gripping styles. The first one is palm where you kinda have the mouse sitting like this and your palm just kind of wraps around it like this and it my the palm of my hand rests well on here and it feels quite comfortable the other grip style you have with this mouse is the claw grip and claw grip is kind of like palm except your fingers are kind of up at an angle like this instead of like this it's more like this and this was comfortable as well i had no complaints if you're a claw gripper it's going to be comfortable using this mouse and the last grip style is the fingertip grip which is when your palm doesn't rest on the mouse, it kind of like floats above the mouse and your fingertips are on the mouse. And this was really comfortable as well. Typically the fingertip grip is not comfortable with heavier mice because your fingers are pulling all of this weight. But because this mouse does weigh 68 grams and it's pretty much an ultra lightweight mouse, it's gonna be pretty easy to use the finger grip style. So no matter your grip style, this mouse is gonna be comfortable for pretty much all 
types of users. Now the mouse does have some additional buttons and the first one is going to be the DPI button which cycles between how fast the uh, mouse moves on your screen. Now the other two buttons that are additional on this mouse are these two side buttons and by default it's going to be a backwards and forward button on your browser and that can be also customized using the software if you want to customize those i would recommend maybe just leaving them as is unless you need them for something specific perhaps in a game or maybe some app of some sort another thing to note about the design and build quality is the cable and the cable here is not uh, detachable it's going to be fixed onto the mouse so you can't do any cable customizing with this mouse which isn't too big of a deal it's still nice because something cool about this cable is that it's made of what they call the phantom cable and it feels kind of like braided but much softer and i'm a big fan of that because it feels more like a shirt material rather than braided it feels more like a plastic material so i'm definitely a fan of this softer feeling because it's going to be a lot easier to move around on your desk and it's not going to make as much noise when you have regular braided cables the cable makes a lot of noise sliding around in your on your desk but this thing is like so soft, you can't even hear this thing moving around on your desk. Now getting into my pros and cons with this mouse, I only had one complaint and that was how grippy it is. I found this thing was really slippery and hard to grip because it has no rubber attached to it. And I felt like the mouse was trying to escape my hand when using it and it just wasn't a very comfortable experience to use. I know that some people prefer a mouse with no grips and for some people it works, but for me personally, it really wasn't a good fit. And I'm the kind of person who needs a grippy mouse because my hands are pretty dry for the most part and they always keep going dry. And it's really hard for me to use a mouse because my hands don't get like sweaty or anything and it just keeps trying to slide out. However, if you have like sweaty hands or your hands aren't dry, this mouse should be perfectly fine for you. Now, if you are thinking about getting this mouse, it is going to be a great option because it is an ultra lightweight mouse and that's going to be really good because it's going to pre uh, prevent a lot of that fatigue from long periods of use time and it's going to give you more accuracy in those intense gaming moments. So if you are interested in purchasing this mouse, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below pointing to Amazon on where you can pick, up, pick it up. And if you are looking for some alternatives that are a little bit cheaper than this, I reviewed the HK Gaming Mouse, which has a very similar build to this, but it is about $20 cheaper. So make sure you check that video out as well before deciding to purchase this mouse here. Now, with all that being said, if you are interested in staying in the loop on what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you up to date. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you next time.